So we were working on that center housing. The part that we didn't have time to do was the uh, cutout for the speaker cord. So I'm going to come here to my top. Oh, I'm going to come here to my top. I'm going to place a sketch down on that top plane. I'm going to draw a half inch line going to the right and a half inch line going to the left at this point. I'm going to come up here to my slot tool. I'm going to select my both of my lines to form that slot. And then I'm going to click on extrude. I'm going to do remove. I'm going to do through all. And I'm going to merge that with my part here. So we can see now I have that spot here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my assembly file. I'm going to insert uh, two of my wings. And that first wing, I'm going to right click on and fix so I can fix that into space so we can keep our orientation. I'm going to do a fasten mate. I'm going to choose the center point of the housing to the center point. I'm going to flip it on its axis at this point. Let's rotate that. And I'm going to do that same process for the other one. I'm going to choose that center point on the other side. To the back portion, let's reorientate ourselves. Again, I'm going to flip that one. And there we go. We have our nice assembled. Now remember, I can always come back to my parts. I can right click here. I can edit my appearance of it and choose a color that's more fitting of our TIE fighter. Um, jet black really doesn't work well because it's hard to see, but I can come back here, edit my appearance and again. Then we can look at our TIE fighter uh, assembled. Now talking about 3D printing this, the reason I chose this is without much support material, I would print each of these wings laying flat on this side and this side. This piece, uh, my uh, work on the 3D printer, what I found is it works best if printed on its side. Uh, I am going to attempt to try to print it uh, sitting like this, but I imagine the amount of support material is going to be a lot on that as well. Just to go through really quick that alternative idea of how to create another type of shape for that intro. So if you wanted more of like this traditional U shape that the Echo Dot just slides into, you like that look a little bit better. I can show you what I did is I just did uh, a total of a 2.125, which is an eighth inch. I extruded that or I drew that on each side with a 2.125 arc, as we can see there. Uh, then if we take a look, I extruded that part two inches. And then I used the shell tool and I shelled out the remaining portion of it, of that top face with an eighth of an inch. So I still have that eighth of an inch that I had in that uh, part that I've done there. Uh, and then I created another sketch on the front of that same 1.75 that I did on the other side uh, arc and then I extrude it as a remove all. So again, what I would do is the same thing. Uh, I would write my plane on the right side. I do it at the same 2.375 inches away. So we can see that there. I would put a sketch on that plane along with my circle tool or circle tool. Uh, I would do that 0.75 inch circle I would dimension it to my center point, 0.75. And again, I just happen to like that look. Uh, I'm going to dimension it from the side one inch. And I'm going to extrude that uh, up to, instead of blindly, up to the face. And then I just choose this face. I could then do my sketch and do that center point re rectangle tool of the 0.25 by 0.25 extruded 0.25 inches. I would do the same exact thing on the other side. And then in the previous video where I showed you how to do the slot cutout here on the top, I would follow that same procedure to cut that slot. So if you like the look of something a little bit more like that,